Hey crafty friends, it's Melissa. Welcome back to my channel. I wanted to do a quick comparison for you guys today. Um, recently Scrap Diva Designs came out with a, um, a little mailbox die and it is adorable. And so, um, let me move these over. So, um, I, if you're like me, when I saw the mailbox die, which if it's a mailbox die, I'm probably going to buy it anyway because it's one of those dies that I just love, kind of like a backpack, etc. And ginger and all that. But, um, I, I was... I had been, I guess a couple months ago, I was looking for a retired set from um, Paper Tray Ink, and it was a post and parcel set, and I tried to get it on eBay a couple of times, and it just didn't work out. And then, very shortly after that, the stamp market came out with a little mini um, post box that I thought was super cute, and I ordered it. And then, very shortly after that, then um, Erica got a new one in her store. And if you're like me, you're probably thinking, well, do I already have one that's similar? You know, do I really need that die? So, well, for me, I always need that die. But um, I wanted to show you guys the difference because I was so anxiously waiting to get the one from Erica so that I could see how they compared in size and whatnot. I'm going to give you what I think are the, what is the, I think is the better option here. Now don't get me wrong, I, I love both companies. I order from the stamp market all the time. I also order from Erica's shop all the time because I love Erica's shop hardly. I mean, everything she gets I think I have to have. So I'm going to show you guys the difference here. So the very first one I got, of course, was the Stamp Market. Now, this is the set that comes from the Stamp Market. This one is very simple. I'm going to show you guys. So, you get the box comes all in one big piece, as you can see. One big piece. So, it's very easy to assemble. And then this is your top. And then they have the slot, I guess, so it can be op optional to go in here. And you got a few decorative elements. You got this decorative front. And then you've got that envelope and then this bigger envelope that goes with it. Now, when you assemble the post or just the box itself in general, this is what you get. This was the very first one I made. I just did it in basic um, paper. And the reason I did that is because, and I'm about to point this out um, in, the, in the next example, but you don't have any layering dies with um, the stamp market. So the reason I did it, like I said, I could have, yeah, I could have measured and cut and made my own little... Um, layering pieces but I decided just to do it in decorative paper and if that's your jam because it's quick it's one big piece and then that's a piece and then I cut this separate just so that I would have a um, matching part if that's your jam then this may be the one for you they're very comparable but let me show you Erica's and I just got it and I literally just put this together okay so see this little box very awesome now here's a couple of pluses I'm gonna give a shout out to Erica here because I was so pleasantly pleased and surprised her die set is very like I said very comparable in size it's a little it's a little bit bigger as you can see this is stamp market this is scrap diva designs okay hers comes with the slot already in it which I think is awesome because I forgot I did one of these and forgot to put the slot in and then it was too late you can't go back and cut that um, hers also comes with all of the layering dies so you're gonna get layering panels and they're all stitched her back panel which is the main panel that you connect the front and the bottom to is a longer panel so you kind of have the option of adjusting this up or down or maybe you wanted a different shape at the top so you use a different edge die or something like that that's awesome because you have that wiggle room in there she also has posts and then she has a layering thing for the top as well like I said all layering this set, I want to say, runs $24.99 um, on her website, and it's amazing, completely amazing. The stamp market, I think it's amazing, too. I love it. I think it's cute. Um, I love the size of it and everything. Um, this one, I want to say, was $38. So, huge plus is cost over that one. The size of it is very comparable, so, you know, if, if that's the size that you're looking for, and I'll measure it for you here in a second, that'll help. This one comes with a few more, like, little detail pieces, like the envelopes and the little flowers and whatnot, but, I mean, I have a bazillion of those in my stash, so that wasn't really important to me. This one also came with the word post from Erica's that, you know, so you get all the layering dies, you get this little post, um, you've got a beautiful little edge on there, super simple to put together, didn't take but a few minutes to put it together, and the price point is better. So 
if you already have this one and you think oh, I probably don't really need it, well, that's up to you. Um, I wanted it because Erica's has all the layering pieces and I just thought it was freaking adorable because that's just me. Um, but if you um, haven't bought either one and you're trying to decide which is the better one, I'm going to tell you the better value is right here because you get more and the layering pieces are just adorable. So value wise and aesthetically this one is just as pleasing as this one actually the value is better than the stamp market so i wanted to do those comparisons for you guys look as you can see like i said the backs erica's is the taller one with the gingham here they're both about the same almost the same size barely i want to say erica's is a tiny bit wider they're about the same depth so um you know let me grab a ruler if i can find my rulers you guys please be patient with me. here we go all right so i would say this one is about two and six eighths i think two and six eighths looks close to that wide one and a quarter deep and for the box portion three oh gosh hold on let me get it right well about three a little over three and a quarter that was the stamp market one this one is erica's now hers is about the same width two and Gosh, I don't know. It's like two and seven eighths, two, not seven eighths, I'm sorry. Two and, maybe nine sixteenths. Anyway, they're very comparable. The depth is about one and two sixteenths. And the height is, I'm not including the back part. It's about three three and three quarters so it's slightly bigger that's what I was saying it is slightly bigger it's it's taller and not just because of the back piece but the actual box itself is a little taller if that helps you guys and then again like I said I love the little pretty they both have pretty scalloped edges I love the little lacy edge and I love all the layering pieces I really do so I wanted to do that comparison for you guys in case you were wondering or on the fence or looking for a cute little mailbox guy. Either one of these would be adorable. Like I said, if I had to choose just one of these, I would probably choose Erica's only because the, the value is better and it has all the layering dies and it's like super duper cute. So I hope that helps you guys if you're trying to make a decision, but um, you can't go wrong with any of the dies in Erica's shop. So I just wanted to give a shout out and I wanted to do that comparison for you guys and I'll see you in the next crafty video. Happy crafting everybody.